time to take a deep dive into the sports world of our happy little rectangle. And now, from the Kitchen Table Studio in West Central Greene County, Indiana, it's Nathan's Low Budget Sports Show. Yeah. Alright guys, welcome to Nathan's Low Budget Sports Show. It's been a busy week. I'm tired, but hey, the show must go on because we had a lot of great things happen in Greene County for local high school sports teams. Uh, first of all, thank you to our sponsors, Team Ortho, our team caring for yours, from the family of the Greene County General Hospital. Also to the Living Room Center, they have free delivery to Linton and beyond with two locations in Bedford and Bloomington. We'll start off with the big story of the weekend. That's the Linton Volleyball Team as they went down to Mitchell to take on Brownstown Central in the regional final Saturday night. Linton fans had plenty to celebrate Saturday night in the Mitchell Regional. I mean, congratulations, first regional title. How do you feel right now? Oh, I'm elated. Um, you know, this is our school's ninth attempt. Um, it's, it, it's, our, it's our fourth attempt with this coaching staff. And, um, coming up short last year really, really made it as hard to do, you know, last year and, and not, not pull through. Um, you know, our, our girls really executed our, our game plan tonight. We played through the the, the the energy. The energy level was there for everybody, and um, just we played a nice, controlled game all the way through, and, and you know, couldn't be happier. Holly Brownfield, you know, basically all of our back row, um, all of our team just cheering us on, and our coaches especially working on us with blocking. Um, it was a team effort, and their sport, their spirit. Um, the girls on the bench, especially, they're cheering. It helped us be determined to get that block on time and just talking to everybody. Yeah, I would say team, and we couldn't do it without our passers and setters and our outsides and our right sides. Uh, our coaches really prepared us. I mean, they set us up in the right spots of the floor. We knew it was coming. So we had already gone through it, so as long as we were there, we were going to get the balls up pretty much. I mean, uh, this team, like, you guys have seemed like you graduated a libero every year or a defensive specialist. You guys stepped right into that role this year, though. How did you guys pull through? I think, honestly, like, we just go 110% for every single ball. We just want it so bad for our team and just for ourselves, really. We all just work together, and it works out for us in the end. Um, the high student section bigger than the opposing team was awesome. It was definitely the best student section we've had all season, which helped us out a ton in our community that was behind us. Uh, go for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll cut it out. <laughs> all of our hitters are great. You have to mix it up to throw the other team off. Hey, Taryn, come on in here. Join Kylie. We, we haven't gotten Taryn in here yet. Like uh, Taryn, it seemed like you had more minutes or more time out there tonight in the front row than maybe normal. How, how did your height help out in this uh, game today? because like it helps me block and everything like that and that was a really big part of today's game and it also it helps me like snap the ball easier over the net it is it's so fun like and, and sophie like you had track success you've gone to state as a track runner sophie's uh, awesome sophie's I mean, 
I mean, right. where, where, where does regional volleyball rank in all the accolades that Sylvia Hale has won? I don't know. It means so much since it's school history. It just, they're equal. They fit right in. It's, it's, <laughs> they're all fun. <laughs> Green County Dairy World and our sponsors, the Living Room Center and Team Ortho, would like to congratulate the Linton Volleyball Team on its first regional title. Congratulations to the Linton Lady Miners. That was a hard fought win uh, to win those two games Saturday. They beat, uh, they, they beat Hauser in the first game Saturday and then they beat Brownstown Central. They'll take on Cecina in the semi state and that'll be in Jasper. Probably around 2:30, I think. Like so, like the first game will start around one, uh, uh, or it might have might be a little bit earlier than that. Uh, but yeah, it'll be Saturday afternoon, uh, and so go on down to support Linton Saturday. I'll be there for sure, uh, and which is a great win, first regional win. Uh, the team came back with fire trucks and all yesterday. Uh, congratulations to those girls and Coach Scott Vanderkoek and, and his staff. Uh, let's turn our attention to WRV Volleyball, as they too were in a regional yesterday. They traveled all the way to Edinburgh to take on the Lutheran Saints. WRV was a bit of an underdog. Let's see how they did. good team uh, we played with we played with heart we had a couple girls that maybe weren't completely all in they're a little bit intimidated coming into regionals it is intimidating yeah. and so I had a couple girls that maybe let their nerves override they started pulling it out a little bit you know all in all there's still girls still yeah. game they gotta love the game yeah, a lot of people counted us out middle of the season my girls they, they have come over adversity all week long, the last two weeks. You'd never know that Evelyn went down on Wednesday. She pushed through the pain. She played a great game today. Okay. <laughs> um, twisted her ankle, went to the emergency room, and she pushed the pain. That's just, that's the kind of girls I've got. Um, and Haley was back today. Haley was back Cer a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, adversity, when, when, teams, when teams count you out, it's kind of nice to show them a little bit. So it's been nice. Um, the girls have overcome a lot of things this season, so it's been nice. You know, Sarah, Sarah's shoulder, I get, I get it. She's going to a doctor. I'd say she's going to have shoulder surgery. So, you know, these girls, they pushed through a lot of pain this year, and I'm super proud of them. The WRV that you saw, they, they were able to take a set, uh, but Lutheran was just too, uh, too strong, uh, too, many, too many bodies for them. Uh, Lutheran ended up winning that regional, and they are also in a, a semi-state. Uh, WRV, they finished their season 14-13. and 13. Uh, They'll lose a couple of seniors. Kylie Palmer will be missed for sure. In a, in a, so congratulations to WRV and Angie York on their great season, their first sectional win in 26 years. Uh, Big-time stuff there in Switch City for their volleyball team. Uh, let's turn our attention to Duggar Union and their football team as they're in the eight-man football finals uh, Saturday afternoon, all the way over near Shelbyville in Waldron High School. They took on a team from Fort Wayne. Let's see how Duggar did. Let's go Bulldogs! Let's go Bulldogs! Let's go Bulldogs! It was an important day for Duggar Union football as the Bulldogs traveled to Waldron High School for the eight-man football final against Fort Wayne Black Hawk Christian. Early on, Fort Wayne was in control with the first two touchdowns. Eventually though, Carter Hall and Mikey Pearson We'll get the Duggar offense in gear.
Anderson will get the Bulldogs on the board in the first half. Blackhawk Cushion proved to be a little too much for Duggar as they won 40 to 28 over the Bulldogs. Duggar ends its season at 3 and 3. Uh, Duggar Union, great effort by them. Three wins this season. They played that Fort Wayne team twice, uh, three times actually. They they won the the second game of that series. Uh, so hopefully Duggar, I mean, they can continue to grow. I think that eight-man football is a good fit for them, at least for the short term, and hopefully they can get healthy enough and maybe get enough uh, numbers where they can play 11-man football again. I know they were excited to play sectional football uh, before the season, but I think this was uh, something that worked out well for them and, and, and Coach Levi Nam and, and, and his staff. Well, uh, thank you. Let's start off with our, it's that time now for our Stab of the Week. Nathan, somewhat interesting stat of the week. Uh, stat of the week, uh, WRV Volleyball. You saw uh, the Wolverines there. Kavi Palmer, she's one of their seniors that will be graduating. She'll end with over 1,000 digs and almost 500 uh, career kills. Uh, a very great uh, tenure there at WRV for Kavi Palmer, and she helped lead WRV to its first sectional since '96. So we got to we got through a lot, folks. I mean, there's a lot of things that happened this weekend. I didn't even get to Peyton Smith. Uh, that, that happened in Brown County, where she advanced to the state cross country meet uh, next week. Uh, she finished 12th overall in the semi state. So congrats to Peyton. Uh, congrats to Linton volleyball moving on. Linton's football team is moving on. They'll be hosting Southmont Friday. Uh, we'll bring all that to you guys next weekend. Uh, we'll try to get more things up on our website. We already have Linton's volleyball story up and the WRV and uh, Peyton Smith as well on our website at this moment in time. Uh, thank you very much and thank you to our sponsors, Team Ortho from the, our team, Caring for Yours, from the family of the Green County General Hospital, and also to the Living Room Center with free delivery to Linton and beyond with locations in Bedford and Bloomington. Well, I'm Nathan Pace. Have a great night, Green County. I hope you enjoyed all of the sports that were going on this weekend, and we'll have more for you next weekend. I'm Nathan Pace. Have a great night, Green County.